Yeah, a very big welcome to another fragrance review. Today we're taking a look at a fragrance where I'm really enthusiastic about. It is Fahrenheit Le Parfum. In the beginning of 2014, Dior launched a new fragrance on the market, Fahrenheit Le Parfum. This wasn't the first Fahrenheit. Besides Le Parfum, there is of course the original Fahrenheit from 1988 and many others, eight in total, besides the one I mentioned just now. The creators of Fahrenheit Le Parfum is Francois Dimarchy, who used Sicilian Mandarin, Violet, Leather and Bourbon Vanilla to make this delicate composition. This results in a blend where sweetness, vanilla, ozonic notes, rum and a certain aquaticness comes into play. Fahrenheit Le Parfum is being sold in 75 ml bottles where the design is shorter and wider in comparison to the original. Now we uh, just took a look at the fragrance, but what do I make out of it? Uh, me, as a personally, as a consumer. First off, I want to note the complexity of uh, Fahrenheit Le Parfum. I mean the great complexity. Uh, there seems to be so much delicate blending going on. And that makes it hard to give it a, a really good breakdown of all the ingredients I smell. But I will give it a try anyway. I'm going to give you my uh, breakdown of what I personally get out of this fragrance and I need my notes for this. So let's give it a start. First off I get a vanilla note. Uh, secondly, I get a booziness, like smelling rum. Third, I get a slight smokiness in the background. Number four, I get just uh, a nice uh, flowery smell, the impression of smelling flowers. Number five, just uh, sweetness in general. And the last one is I get an oz ozonic note. It's like the giving the impression of smelling air. Fahrenheit Le Parfum definitely has a uniqueness to me uh, that makes it stand out from the rest. You can, as you can see, this bottle is uh, black and red and that might give you the impression that this is a very spicy perfume. But in reality, it's much more fresh than you might think. So, and that uh, brings me to another point. A lot of people say that this perfume is a winter scent. And I totally get that. But I would like to stretch that a little bit up and say, you can wear this safely in the spring and in the fall as well. Just if it doesn't get too hot. Interesting topic here. The original Fahrenheit versus the Fahrenheit Eau de Parfum. Which one should you have? The uh, original Fahrenheit is more masculine and more fresher. But still I want to suggest you should go after this one, the Parfum version. And that is because the original has this petrol note and that might put people off. So I think this is the much more safe buy to say so. Tillage and longevity, uh, both very satisfied with them. Le Parfum masters the art of being very present and yet at the same time being very subtle. Uh, it doesn't scream at all, so that's a good thing. I uh, spray this on my working clothes and even days after I got little uh, whiffs coming up. So that's great. Uh, you could say this is a strong juice. Okay, I want to go uh, to a sort of conclusion uh, to this fragrance. I think Dior did a fantastic job with this one. I get no uh, rough edges. I get nothing synthetic out of it. So for me this is an easy recommendation. Uh, I have Le Parfum so high up in my list that I'm considering uh, buying a second one when it goes out of production just to be sure I have it for a long time. So yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty, uh, pretty hyped up about it. I think we uh, pretty much covered everything. I think we're pretty much done here. As always, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see your comments down in the comment section. And of course, I hope to see you next time for the next video. Thank you again. I'll see you next time. Bye.